Right, it's my 1979 Volkswagen camper van Type 2. He's currently on eBay for sale. I put him up for two and a half grand. Now he's down for 2,200. That's the last drop. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you why. But yeah, let's do a quick walkabout. Just spent an hour just emptying it. Put the front bumper on the front grill. Not turned it over for a while, so got a battery there ready to go in a minute. It's a 1600 engine. For what I'm asking, that's worth the money all day long for the price I'm asking. So if someone wants the engine and breaks it, then you're laughing. This side's a rough side. And we'll go through what what needs doing, as you can see. I did start to take the radio out, he's hinged on. So I'll remove that for the sale. Also come with a MP MPI um, dash insert and he's fixing on. Front floor is good, there's another repair there. Alright, start at the front, we have a good yap about it. If you're interested, I'll leave my email as well at the bottom. This come from a friend of mine, Ben, about three years ago. He's up in Norwich area. Um, this is how it come, how it arrived. And it also come with a replacement front panel. And they're creeping up to 450 now. So that's including in the sale. So with the engine in your panel, you're laughing. As I said, I've just bolted only two bolts, the front bumper back on and the number plate. I'll refresh the uh, photos on eBay. And I'll just bolt on the grill. They all go along the front here. The windscreen's all good. Right, the driver's door drops. He drops. So, obviously when the new panel's on, it's had a new step. New front step. I reckon this was an abandoned restoration. It comes to me as a non-runner, and I got it to run on a video two and a half year ago. All it was was dirty points. But yeah, he's had a new front arch, fit very well. There's that floor patch. Um, I would brush it, paint it, jobs are good. And I've got a carpet to go in the front here, matching the seats. I'm sure these are out of a sab. Got the mounting points, they're ready to bolt on. Door needs replacing. Or you may get away with just doing the bottom skin, which you do the repair panels for. But it said, yeah, the door, he drops. Notice at first, See, that's all good metal there. Skimmer filler. And the seals are good, I think. Yeah. He's had um, new outriggers. Yeah. And there, so obviously they've tackled this side first. Right. 
new panel but i've never repaired one and i'm not saying nothing but it's over old rust which i know you take that out old repair panel it's been lapped over but i'll cut it out take out the bit in behind the rusty bit clean it up and fit it definitely definitely corners started to go but that's could be repairable there so that's good because these are not cheap tailgate yeah and he's replacing you pick them up for about what 120 quid 150 quid tops or if you're good you can replace the bottom engine lid all good all good it needs an engine seal that's all missing and also what battery tray on that side again i'll pick them up for 20 quid on facebook marketplace ebay the last one i bought i just checked was 27 pound delivered that wasn't a brand that was a brand new one but obviously it's selling the spare parts so i bought a couple other bits as well bumper's all good this side yeah he's gone so we need a lower yeah he's gone a lower quarter there bumper is good it's got a tow hitch it's the worst side it's going to need an arch repair there this is solid on the top lip but get the repair panel and cut the two ends all good here all good here windows are good sliding door there's one on ebay currently for 100 pound or, or you fix the bottom because it's original but for 100 pound yeah slides open this uh, outer seal's gone as you can see outrigger's gone but the chassis solid and the floor but yeah outer seal that one may be at a patch that outrigger but yeah outer seal probably inner seal as well yeah definitely it's not too bad looks like he's had a repair on the sliding door bit already all right the front wheel arch needs replacing this door shuts fine as you can see i've repaired worse <clears throat> um so yeah that one there door yeah bottom of the door or pick up a pair of doors cut one your quid right it's been patched on the floor and also this ugly patch here but you can see it's had a bottom lower bottom piece that had been fitted very well but abandoned project that's probably where they stopped nothing inside so it's a blank canvas um obviously moldy cushion blank canvas what i'll do make it into a day van full width rock and roll bed awning with all your camping gear and jobs are good on i've had bay windows before with we've done cupboards here and it's just no room um i'm not at the pop top up i was told it was in good condition it's had new struts here at the back Notice that this morning. So that's just a cubby over there. Um, 
Right. That leaks is all cracked. They're about £55 delivered. The old vent. Sunlight vent. This one's off at the minute. The strut, that one's all on. I'd renew these two to be honest. Because they're pretty heavy. Bulkhead's all good there. So that's it panel wise. So the price I'm not dropping from 2200. That's my bottom dollar. If it doesn't sell, I doubt if I break, I will restore him 100%. See, so I've got extra panels as well. I've got to check the engine in a minute. Got extra panels I've bought recently for our bay window there. So these won't be included, but I've spent a few quid. Yeah, then there, got that panel there. Um, engine that goes along the oh wait, that goes along the rear engine lid. I've got another tailgate there, arch. I've got window surrounds there because nine times out of ten, they're panel vans from factory and they've been converted. So I don't think this one here is. I'm not sure where he come from. Can't see it being Australia, um, America. I can't see that at all. Mm, Germany, possibility. Right, put you on the stand. We see what works. Let you hear the engine turn over. Cheap project for someone. Very cheap project. All right, plonk you down. Beautiful day today. I think there's a bit of juice in this factory. So we've got negative over there. It's just showing that it turns over basically. Um, yeah, put that there. This factory's heavy. Um, what are you? Does it have all your bits? This isn't a will it run? Pretty good. So I had him running. I had him running a couple of year ago. Right, let's see what works and what don't work. Windscreen wipers work because I just accidentally put them on. There you go. Wipers, hazards. Oh, this is one thing I've never checked is the electrics. OMG, look at that, the front. Cheap, easy restoration, come on. Snap it up. Nope, and yes. 
bulb or a dodgy earth. Happy days. Easy fix. Obviously the indicators. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. We know the rear won't work. On the driver's side. Confusing all this left-hand drive. You would put a steering wheel on that side. We flash and fast. So, well, obviously the bulb's gone then. Yep. That's a bulb going at the back. Easy fix. Cool. It's done. It's saying 6,164. Obviously, that's 100. No. Be a one there. That's no, when it's been 6,000. Anyway, there's a thing. Oh, lights. Okay, what the hell is that switch? OMG. We've got headlamps. Gotta be careful, I may buy it. There. And not on that side. Oh. I'll go for an earth, bad earth. But we've got lights. So that's all the electrics working. Engine turns over. Get a full service. Get a new coil. Even the dizzies. 034 dizzies, what? Um, how much are they? 35 quid. Just bought a brand new one for. You're looking at 100 quid all in for a full service on the engine. Cup 100 for the doors. This side's been done. Tires. Yeah, crack in there. Four new tires. Is that about 250 quid? The front panel comes with it. A new vent. <laughs> new vent up there. The roof gutters are bang on. Perfect. Rust free. Easy winter restoration. So with that, that's my sale. Hit me up on an email. And hopefully get this one sold. Because if not, I don't want to do it, but I will restore it. But I'm not giving it away. 2,200 and it's yours. Cheers.